So in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of experimenting. I have this Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board and we are going to see if we can sublimate on it. And we are also going to just kind of test. So on one side, we're going to be sublimating on it just regular without anything. On the other side, we're going to put a lamination sheet and sublimate that way. Um, we're just going to see which way works better. I wouldn't suggest doing this and using this to cut on if you do sublimate on it, but it could be cute little decor up against your backsplash in your kitchen, just like on your counter, chilling right there. So if you want to see how this turns out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket sublimation and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. Okay, so we have our bamboo cutting board. I'm just gonna open this up. I haven't opened it yet. So I'm just gonna take this true control knife to open it. So it's smooth, but it's not shiny. So we'll see. Okay. So we're gonna test this out. This cutting board is, let's measure it because it doesn't say how big it is. Cutting board is about, about 8.6 around there, 8.6 by by like 5.9 inches. I just made my design just a full page of 8.5 by 11. I didn't do any words or any special designs just because I wanted just the image that was vibrant and had lots of colors just to see what can show on it. Um, this image, you know, has orange, red. It has some lighter colors like pink, white, kind of like a whitish, pinkish color, um, some greens, and some darker colors. So I just wanted to see what would show up on it and what wouldn't. So first, we're going to try to sublimate on it without a laminate sheet. So I am just going to pretty much just prep it, just wipe my hand on it, and then I'm just going to put it anywhere here and we're gonna take some heat tape and we're just gonna tape that down. And this would this is just an experiment, you know. Sometimes you just need to have fun and just test things out. And if it doesn't work, then we're gonna put an lamination sheet and see if that looks good and how vibrant the colors are and all of that without it being painted on. You could definitely paint this and then sub on it. You can paint it, put some polyacrylic sub on it but I'm just really curious to see if you can sub on it without anything on it so I'm just gonna take my butcher paper and I'm gonna place it on top just like that and now it's ready to go to our heat press and we can just carry it easily just in one one soup okay so we're gonna take our wood I'm gonna place it down. I'm gonna take butcher paper and put it on top. And I'm going to have to adjust my pressure because this is gonna be really quick. So I'm just gonna loosen up my knob. And I'm just gonna press at my normal 385 degrees for 60 seconds. But basically, I just want enough pressure where it's a, resisting a little bit, but it doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna put my heat gloves on. Take my butcher paper off. Ready? One, two. Oh, no way. No freaking way. Obviously, it's not like bright. But I was not expecting that. No way. 
Look at that. So obviously, you know, if you put white paint, you're going to see whatever you put on here better. But these would be even good, like, if you want to um, put a family photo and then hang it on the wall or something with command strips. That would be cute, too. Okay, so I'm going to put the laminate on here just because, just to test it out and see how much brighter the laminate would be than what is already on the wood. I'm so impressed. I was like ready for nothing to come onto this wood. That's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna take our laminate for the other side just so that we can compare. And for people who ask all the time, I'm um, need thermal lamination pouches. You can't just do like the regular adhesive pouches because that adhesive is going to melt. So you need the thermal ones. They're not expensive. I believe they're linked down in the description. I have had my pack for a really long time and I haven't had to buy any more. So they're really not that pricey. I think I only paid like $8 for the pack that I got and I got like 100 and you split it in two. So really you get like 200 sheets, you know? So I'm just gonna cut my laminate a little bit bigger than this and you can always save your scraps in case you do a project that that's that's small like that it comes in handy trust me save your scraps so now we're gonna take this over to our heat press and we're just gonna press it for about 10 seconds just so that the laminate can adhere to it so now we're gonna take our wood with the laminate sheet the shiny side goes on the outside the rough side is what's gonna be touching your wood and that's like the adhesive side so make sure the shiny side is out gonna get some butcher paper underneath butcher paper on top gonna press for just 10 seconds if you have bubbles now is the time to kind of just push them out the way while it's still warm you can take one of your vinyl scrapers and just push it out Okay, so now I'm going to take my design and I'm just going to place it on top. I'm just going to place it on top, put my butcher paper on top. I'm not worried about it shifting. And then I'm just going to press it for 60 seconds now. Okay, so now we're going to take our butcher paper off. So this is how it looks. I didn't have enough pressure. So there's some areas without it. The design, you can kind of see in comparison to what this side looks like. So it is brighter. Um, it is brighter, but I'm still really impressed that I can do it without anything on it. And if you don't like how the lamination turns out, you can just peel it right off. Like, it comes right off. Um, when you do peel it though, you probably have some adhesive that's still like stuck to it. So be aware of that, but you can redo it if you want. I'm so happy. Like, I don't know. It's so cool that it can, it can do it without anything on it. So I am shocked. I honestly did not believe that any ink would transfer onto this. I, I'm really excited. This is so cute. Again, you can do a cute little cutting board and put it as display in your kitchen. Um, I wouldn't recommend to chop your fruits and veggies on here. Um, you can also do like a painted white and then put some poly acrylic on it and do like a photo and like put that on your wall. That would be really cute. Or you can just put a photo on here and have the wood background and texture on it. Really, really cute. Um, I didn't like how the laminate looked on it. It is definitely more vibrant than what the wood is itself. But I don't know, I didn't like it. And you need to have good 
pressure when you do that just make sure that when you do do it you have good pressure on all sides maybe an easy press might be better for that so that you can get it and you don't have your heat press kind of like that where one part is getting more pressure than the other but i'm really impressed this is great for practicing on and just playing around and experimenting let me know down below if you guys have tried this out if you knew you can sub on these or if you're gonna go out and try it they're really really cute you can put like a monogram on it and put it in the kitchen or um i don't know if you've seen where they put on the cutting boards like the measurements and things like that that would be really cute on here too like in black or a dark color put like all the different measurements and conversion charts and stuff that'd be really cute and also really useful so let me know if you guys try this i i'm impressed i had no hope for this at all so mm. so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel we're getting closer and closer to ten thousand. again i will do a giveaway when i reach ten thousand. big things are coming um, I do have some creative fabrica classes coming up soon and I'll link on those if you have not seen my previous ones I'll have those linked in the description also I will be creating a membership and there will be lots of good stuff in there and definitely worth your money I am working on it and it will be coming out probably next month let me know down below if you're excited for it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.